Hi, this is Ron Piven with your marketing tip of the week. This week, let's talk about background colors for your marketing. Now, does it really matter what color you use for backgrounds? Well, I was surprised to find that one color can increase your response rate by up to 30%. So what's that color? Well, it's robin egg blue. This color has shown to promote trust and improve conversions. When compared to a background of black or dark colors, robin egg blue increased responses by as much as 30%. So robin egg blue is a great color to use for backgrounds. Now what other colors should you use and which ones should you not use? First, let me ask you, what do all these sets have in common? Here's the first set, the second set, the third set, and the fourth set. Now, what do they all have in common? If you guess blue, you would partly be right. You see, they not only have blue, but a combination of blues and browns. It's no coincidence that they're all using the same color combination. So let's see those again. There's blues and browns, blues and browns, blues and browns, and blues and browns. So blues and browns are trust colors. News agencies want and need you to trust them so they take the steps to ensure that the background portrays that trust. Now, there's also a reason why this company chose brown as the color, and now they promote their company as, what can brown do for you? Now, white and gray also did fine. Gray was slightly better than white, but there wasn't a lot of difference between the two. Now, what works on TV also works on the internet and in your marketing. This logic works the same for websites and blogs and other marketing. So, what colors should you not use for backgrounds? Now, we went over the colors that you should use. Now, what colors should you not use? So, what's the first thing you think of when you see this color? Now, many people think of stop. It's so ingrained in our brains that red is a stop color. Stop signs and stop lights, they're both red. So, red is the first color to stay away from. Now, don't get me wrong, limited use of red in headlines and other text is really effective. Now, what I'm referring to is using red as a background color. So, the next color surprised me. That color is green. Now, I have a website with green in it, so I may have to rethink my colors too. But if you do like green, a dark green is proven to be better than a light green. The reasoning why they think green does not work is because it's kind of a relaxing, soothing color. It can be associated with recycling and going green, but that may be inconsistent with sales messages. So, see the difference between a green new set and a brown and blue new set? So, you make your decision there. The next one is a group of colors. It's, co it's the pastels. Now, these colors are light and they're airy, they're fun, they're, they're even playful, which is all good. However, they're not usually associated with serious business. So, there you have it. Some quick tips on background colors for your websites, for blogs and marketing. Now, remember, Robin Eggs Blue blues and browns, even white and gray are fine. Hopefully, you'll plug in a few of these tips and make your marketing just a little bit better. This is Ron Pippen, The Lone Doctor, with your tip of the week.